Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have something I've been waiting on. Uh, I'm gonna try to make this really quick before anybody fall. Monkey Dad, Southern Gunner. Were you guys actually nodding off when I was talking? Seriously, were you? Come on guys, just give me like three or four minutes. I swear I'll make this quick. Anyway, guys, I got something I want to introduce today. It's a little special. I've been waiting on this. Yes, this is the Texan uh, 338 Airpua. Um, I have something that is new on the market. It is a 20 MOA Dovetail to Picatinny 20 MOA scope base for the Air Force line of guns. Stay tuned, guys. You're going to like this one. This product brought to you by Mad Dog, maker of fine custom rifle stocks. All right, guys, we're back. Let's get to it. What I have today, as I said, is a 20 MOA Picatinny scope base for the Air Force line of air guns. Doesn't just fit the Texans, it fits all the Air Force line of guns. The thing that's special about this is not only is it dovetail, which all Air Force guns are, but it's also Picatinny. So it slides on your uh, OEM scope rail and it turns it into a Picatinny. But what's so special about that? You can get those anywhere. They're all over the market. You can get the ones from China. You can get the ones from Mexico. You can get the ones from Waxahachie, Alabama. Yeah, yeah, we know that. What's special about this one is number one, made in America by none other than Doug Russell at Mad Dog Stock. The other number two special thing, it has 20 MOA built into the scope rail, first of its kind for air guns. That's right, dovetail to Picatinny with 20 MOA for the Texans. All right guys, let's go ahead and open her up and take a closer look. Let me come a little bit closer to you guys. Actually, I'll put up a picture in picture. I'll put up a picture in picture to show you guys a closer up view of it. All right, guys, now that we've taken a look at it, let's go ahead and remove the scope off the gun and install the new Mad Dog 20 MOA Picatinny scope base. Or we'll call it a scope rail. Let's get started. All right, guys, the scope is removed. Let's go ahead and take off the old, out of fashion, out of date, uh, antique, antiquated, um, cheap Chinese, yeah, I bought Chinese scope rail. All right, guys, there it is. Old scope rail is removed. Let's install the new scope rail. Before you do, go ahead and loosen uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. So ten screws to grip this scope rail. He gave plenty of bite. This thing is gonna have plenty of bite. I'm pretty sure you could put this on the 50 cal Barrett and it would hold. Uh, it's a lot. So let's go ahead and uh, make sure we're facing this the right way. And again, this is the correct way. Your screws, at least on my setup, is on the cocking handle side. That means the cant that's in here, the slope, the 20 MOA, is here. And that's the way you want it going. This is the way the gun is pointing. So you want the scope to sit high on the gun like this. So make sure that you uh, loosen the screws and make sure that you install it right the right side. All right guys, there we go. The new 20 MOA scope rail, Picatinny scope rail is installed. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the key features and the whole purpose of this scope rail. The idea is long range shooting. 
Um, a lot more people are getting into long range. Um, if you've been around air guns for any length of time, no matter the name of the air gun, a lot of times you have what we call barrel droop. So barrel droop is the way they machine the gun and the way the barrel fits in the receiver. It kind of sags a little bit so when you align a scope up, the point of impact on your shots tends to be low. Oftentimes what happens is you don't have enough vertical adjustment. So years ago, people were shimming uh, the rear of their scope rings. Um, I was one of the main people doing it. I used to take Coke can because it's very thin and it's metal and it won't, uh, it won't really uh, rust or anything like that. And it doesn't really scratch. So I take Coke cans and cut it to the scope ring and put two or three pieces in there and make the scope sit like this. So I'd have enough uh, cant to be on target at only 50 yards. Over time, you have people that came out with adjustable scope rings. But one of the main issues with the Air Force line of guns is you've always had this dovetail uh, scope rail. And there's never been a any MOA Picatinny scope rail made for the Air Force line of guns. Um, so Doug Russell of Mad Dog Stocks took the initiative. Um, started having these things custom made, anodized, but it is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. One of the benefits of having this is not just to get you on paper, but for you guys out there that are have Air Force guns, have the Texans, have custom builds like I do, and you shoot long range, what this is going to give you is an additional 20 minutes of angle on top of what your scope rings might or might not have depending on the manufacturer of your scope rings and also what your scope has in it. Now, most of you, if you know how to look at your scope, you can, or you look at the instructions in your scope, it'll tell you if it's eighth click, if it's a uh, quarter click, it will tell you, and it's up to you to do the math to determine how many MOA your scope has. Meaning if you turn that scope turret all the way down till it stops, and you count how many ever full revolutions, there's a certain amount of clicks in each revolution, and that normally, from one number to the next, like one to two, is one extra MOA at 100 yards. So how many ever times, how many ever clicks you have versus how many revolutions you have is how much total MOA your scope has. Like I said, this gives you an additional 20 MOA, and it's the first of its kind for the Air Force line of guns. So that's really, really exciting. Another feature that I see that he added is it looks like he has two dovetails on the side for accessories. So you can still have your scope on here and still mount something on the side of here like the tactical light or whatever that, that has a uh, dovetail. So there seems to be one on each side. Matter of fact, I'm not going to say seems to be, it is. So he has two dovetails on each side. So that's awesome that you have a Picatinny, 20 MOA Picatinny, and also two 11 millimeter dovetails on the side for accessories. As well as if you own an Air Force gun, you know that you can accessorize the, the frame here. So lots of options. Uh, again, can't say enough. Big thanks to Doug. All right, guys, now that we have the scope base mounted, let's go ahead and put the scope back on and see how it looks. All right, guys, got it all mounted on the gun, got the scope back on it. Um, the Athlon Argos 8x32, 8x34. Um, I also have the FX mounts. Um, and I now have the Mad Dog uh, 20 MOA Picatinny rail base, scope rail base. And she is a beaut. She is a beaut. All right, guys, one of the features of the scope rail base is that it is seven and a half inches long. The OEM uh, dovetail rail base is 10 and a half inches. So you have a three inch difference. I basically put mine an inch and a half on the front and an inch and a half on the back and just centered it. I also, for me personally, I consider the breech the weak part of the gun. So I made sure that it was going from this solid piece here, clamped here in the center, to definitely over this piece so that way not only does the mad dog stock keep the bottom half of the gun uh really really tight and it keeps it keeps the uh 
bottle and the um, frame from flexing, but now having this scope rail base up here from also from Mad Dog, it now will keep the scope rail, the OEM scope rail, the dovetail from flexing. Again, man, I'd like to thank all you guys out there for watching. I definitely want to thank Mr. Doug Russell of Mad Dog Stocks for making this. This is something that I've been waiting on personally for years. Um, I think the 11 millimeter dovetail is quite ancient. Um, and I know Air Force is, you know, somewhat slow to make changes on their, their guns. But thankfully, someone out there took charge, took the bull by the horns, and came out with the first 20 MOA uh, dovetail to uh, Picatinny base. This is awesome. So, thanks for joining in, guys. 